Between Dentarg and Seraph, we have Seraph starting in the upper hand corner as the orn orange. <laughs> I'm not sure why I had the orange Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Dentarg starting as the gray Protoss. And as we've learned from Eminem, orange does in fact orange does rhyme with Dorhinge. If you guys were like, hey, but what about silver? Is there something that rhymes with silver comparatively? I'm sure you could come up with something. Not sure why I decided to open with that. This is on Eclipse. It is a two player map. Might play more towards Seraph's advantage if he opts to go for more early aggression. I was a little confused with some of Dentark's play, I'll admit. And a couple facets. First of all, I was a little surprised he left the probe kind of at the lower natural expansion in position to go ahead and build the Nexus so early when he in fact was opting for Robo first. I would expect, particularly on a large map cross position, if you are going two gate, some sort of two gate into expansion build, that it would be two gate Nexus before Robo. But, or if you're going to opt Robo first and go two gate Robo into Nexus that you would follow it up um, with a support bay. Uh, but uh, I like the dancing probe for Seraph, waiting for that extra little bit of mineral, getting that initial gateway down. Gateway above Nexus here. I remember thinking that sometimes this might disrupt or has the potential to disrupt assimilator mining. I'm not sure about that though. We'll have to see as things progress, but Seraph, I think, following it up, honestly, with unorthodox play for that map. I like what Dentarg's doing here with this probe. He's just scouting the little corners, making sure that there wasn't any sort of cheese. And we are seeing a two-gate opener here for Seraph, again. And we'll see if it's, again, going to be that two-gate assimilator, because usually what you do is, yeah, you try to run those zealots in, you try to get your initial damage done, and you just try to be a general disruptive force, and you're relying on your opponent to have to spend so much time microwing that you end up ahead kind of in the mid-game. You do have to be careful with the follow-up because you are oftentimes at a disadvantage. A little bit dangerous going for a pylon behind and kind of doing the seal in because probes can seal themselves in back here and be annoying with things like cannons and other random stuff, although not usually cannons in PvP. But a uh, special shout-out to Shafir for talking about that, something I really hadn't thought about before. In this case, it's to try to blockade zealots from sneaking around that back. 7x core being placed down that initial zealot Trying to chase down that probe. No Dragoon just yet. First Dragoon, or first, sorry, Zealot. First Zealot blockading here. Did that Zealot get a kill? No, Zealot wasn't able to stop this probe from sneaking in the base. And it looks like we see another Manor Pylon. Not really blockading a lot of, so just a single probe attacking that. And I think that's a good play here. Now we have the three, the third Zealot being produced. We do see an Assimilator down. So Dentarg getting kind of eyes on... Basically a similar build. The three Zealots now making their way across. The probe making its way back home in the midst of everything. And it looks like there are going to be two Zealots initially here for Dentarg to go ahead. And, and he's actually building, yeah, two Zealots and Dragoons. Should be able to repel these initial three Zealots without too much trouble, particularly with a ramp. And full eyes on absolutely everything. And I believe, this is kind of my opinion on this, having this mineral pile a little bit blockaded, this should give a lot of advantages to Dentarg in the early game. Not insurmountable advantages but advantages nevertheless earlier dragoons which provides a little bit more map control more dragoons potentially which provides more map control maybe with a little bit of micromanagement this can happen but it looks like it's going to be initial zealots after initial zealot now two zealots on one a little bit of shuffling but now the dragoon entering this fight and this zealot has not been able to participate at all so one zealot via micro actually going down and actually it might be additional two zealots so all zealots being maintained for dentar beautiful micro they're low on health, but they will be able to replenish shields, and that last cell is now getting chased down by the remaining Dragoon. Two Dragoons are being produced, so Dentarg should pull back and not overstay his welcome. But still getting a lot of additional base damage as he gets these additional hits here and there against the cell to make sure it's weak in the misfire right there. This is where he honestly should stop, because otherwise he might... Yeah, he's, gonna, he's very likely going to end up losing this Dragoon and losing some base damage right there. It's in retreat. With some nice micro serif, actually might be able to get it. There is a bit of lag here. A, a gateway and robotics facility again for Dentarg as a follow-up build. Two more Dragoons cycling back around, and Seraf going to go ahead and back off. And I take it back. I forgot about the reinforcement locations. A Zealot working on this pylon. The other advantage of this pylon for Dentarg in this base is he can get all sorts of scouting information inside here. So I feel like this is a really nice response. 
And I believe he's going to be able to see, yeah, the edge of that robotics facility. So he knows he's up at least against some form of two-gate robotics facility build as well. A little bit impatient. That does put Dentarg in the red. He's going to go two-gate robo once again. This is uh, kind of more common. He's got a couple probes that weren't cycling up. He has a, a Dragoon very cautiously moving up to the 9 o'clock location looking for any sort of cheese. Like that play. And it looks like, yeah, he's just going to go up. Ooh, does have a probe stuck back here. Um... That's going to hurt a little bit. He is ahead overall in the probe out. He's getting a robotics facility. Seraph has grabbed a third gateway. In theory, if Dentarg doesn't, does go for the Observer and follows up with a Reaver, he should be fine and should be able to take his natural expansion and have superior firepower to Seraph to follow this up. Looks like Seraph is grabbing a robotics facility for of his own. Usually with this two-gate opener, what you want to do is you want to pressure that natural expansion while you're taking your own natural expansion, deny it. In this situation with the Reaver, Dentarg, as long as he micros this Reaver fairly well, should be able to go ahead and get his natural expansion up before Seraph and take an advantage, at least into the mid-game. I like Dentarg also, yeah, just making sure, first of all, this probe's out here just in case an early shuttle or something sneaky, but also able to catch any sort of cheese out there. Putting a pylon right there just in case a shuttle is going to make its way across from that northern position. I love it when Protoss do those sort of shenanigans. Reaver's out, and I believe after this Reaver is out, sometimes there's an op opportunity to just uh, pause Zealot production to get a little bit of a faster Nexus out. And we'll see if he opts to, in fact, do so. I think there's an initial probe kill somewhere here on the front as there's additional scouting information going up. Now, the question is, is does Sir how aggressive does Seraph get? with this three-gate Dragoon. He's starting to move out to the natural expansion, have a little bit of trouble getting his army down the ramp. And is he just going to pause production? It looks like this gateway currently silent, so it looks like he is gonna pause production to follow and go ahead and grab, potentially grab his own Nexus. Never mind, he's continuing the Dragoon production. Dentarg sitting at the natural expansion, grabbing that pylon. You can see that Reaver just kind of plop down. He is saving minerals currently after the second Reaver to go ahead and grab his natural expansion, but here's the army peeling forward. The Reaver needs to be a little bit more... So it's kind of a half and half thing where the Reaver needs to be in position to actually get the shots off, but at the same time, it needs to not be so far forward that it can be picked off by Dragoons getting a little bit too aggressive. So you're waiting, and actually this is going to pay off because he, if something goes awry, he's not going to have to defend uh, that Nexus. Second Reaver coming down the ramp. And Zealots get obliterated by Reaver shots. So here they come. These initial Reaver shots, unfortunately, focusing on just a single Zealot, but they're getting cleaned up very, very rapidly. The Dragoon's trying to press down. Some Zealots actually somehow sneaking across the line, getting on top of those Reavers. Both of them getting on top of the Reavers, but the rest of these Reavers... So both Reavers taken out, but the rest of this army is going to be micro down. And additional Reavers should be produced. Looks like there's a shuttle there to clear everything else out. So Dentarg wins... That fight overall, Seraph having to pull back, and now he doesn't have map control to go ahead and take his Nexus. Especially with the shuttle that's being produced and a Reaver that can be inside there to press out. And behind this, Dentar can go ahead and grab his Nexus. And a probe sneaking in. Man, Dentar doing everything right this game. Probe able to wander up and go ahead and see the follow up. He sees the three gateways, knows what he's up against. These Dragoons coming in piecemeal as well, perhaps on a miss rally, I'm not sure. Perhaps on a hold position, something along those lines. So now, also, Dentarg able to wander up and get some Dragoon Concavity. Around, well, it looks like he's going to go ahead and back off, potentially. But he might have been able to even seal Seraph in his natural expansion and keep him boxed in his base. Perhaps waiting for, looking to see where the shuttle is, waiting for the shuttle and the Reaver. So he's going to go ahead and grab his Nexus. He's going to wait for that Reaver to be here. And as soon as this Reaver is kind of on the low ground with all these Dragoons, he could really punish this. We do have a robotic support bay up for Seraph. He's building his initial reaver, and he's going to need it to go ahead and deny this. The one advantage for Seraph is he does have eyes to go ahead and see what Dentarg is up to. Dentarg grabbing a third gateway. I'm going to assume a fourth gateway to follow this up. I'm actually a little bit shocked that Dentarg's playing a little bit... Uh, he's playing so far back uh, initially here. And it looks like he is going to go ahead and... Yeah, he's going to wander. He's going to pull all the way across. I hear shots happening somewhere. I'm not sure where, though. Um... Dragoon's just wandering down for Seraph, so now he's gotten, but with the three gateways, he is going to be able to go ahead and seal up 
his natural expansion. I don't think either player is going to risk an attack. I would be very surprised if Dentarg risked an attack at this stage. Did I miss the shuttle getting picked off? Is that what I missed? Or is that shuttle to the south? Now that shuttle wandering in back, looks like wandering and backing off. Seraph seeing, I'm not sure if he saw the shuttle to the north and just opted for it. No, I, here's what I missed. I missed a bunch of probe disruption to the north. Man, I don't know why the gray disappears amongst the orange. I was missing a drop in the main is what I was missing there. And Dentarg did a fantastic job of it because we see, I'm going to redo this. I want to redo this commentary now, but I'm going to leave it be. Even I make mistakes. That's right. I'm not perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Surf down to 17 probes. I actually looked for it. I even looked for it. I was like, is there there? But he, yeah, just the orange disappeared or the gray disappeared amongst the orange. So Dentarg actually moving the shuttle in. As soon as this reaver drops, I'll try to get a probe count kill for you. This is not my best cast. I apologize. But yeah, you see, I don't know why. It vanishes there. Weird. But anyway, Dragoon's engaging. Dentarg continuing to show some threat over the main. The probe's actually backing off as a result, and this is wrecking Sirius' economy. Wrecking Sirius' economy. And the Dragoon's peeling in. It looks like Sirius kind of doing a last-ditch desperation effort. Shuttle wandering in with that Reaver. There is the Reaver on the ground, and I assume we're going to see GG here. Yeah, there's GG from Seraph. Apologies for missing the... Uh, I thought I saw it going across. I'm like, no, he must have backed off, and then I lost track of it. Not my best cast. <laughs> I'll leave it be because I'm human. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to game three between Dentarg and Seraph momentarily.